Ready? Sergeant. Members and guests, please rise as the Honorable Senate enters the House chamber. Sergeant. Joint Assembly will please come to order. Sergeant. Members of the Joint Assembly will please rise to receive the Clemson University Tigers and their distinguished escort committee.
sorts now. Some sorts. Coach Wings, Jay Wings, good to house. see you. Great to see you, yes, sir. So proud of y'all. Thank you. Appreciate y'all wearing your purple today. Is that an everyday? Well, I got my own town, my purple. <laughs> yeah. It's a great day. Y'all ready to go? Yes, sir. Ready? Please be seated. Please be seated. Ladies and gentlemen of the Joint Assembly and honored guests, I'm proud to present Dabo Sweeney, head coach of Clemson University's 2018 National Championship football team. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Uh, Mr. Speaker, Mr. President, ladies and gentlemen of the General Assembly here and some of my fellow South Carolinians and Clemsononians, uh, it's an honor to, to be here with you today. And uh, it's truly an honor to be uh, in your presence once again. Uh, but I just want to say thank you for this day and the opportunity uh, that we have to come back together. I want to say thank you for the recognition. Uh, it's, kill, it's still kind of surreal to me uh, that I'm here. Uh, first of all, that I've had the opportunity to do this once, but to have the opportunity to, to be in front of you again is really a privilege and uh, just a great honor and something that I, I, uh, I do deeply appreciate. Uh, I know y'all's time is incredibly valuable. And, uh, but I also want to thank you for uh, your investment in, into Clemson University and, and to all the universities uh, in this great state that we live in. And, uh, and this the opportunities that y'all provide for young people uh, all throughout the state of South Carolina. Uh, I want to say thank you for that uh, deeply. And uh, it's, uh, it's an honor again to once again be here representing Clemson and our football team. And uh, from our football team today alongside with me, uh, Garrett Williams is going to be here a little bit later. But uh, from Spartanburg, South Carolina, uh, the three-time 100-meter, 200-meter state champ and, and a two-time national champ and a uh, three-time ACC champ is uh, one of the best this state has ever produced, and that is from Spartanburg, uh, high Tavian Feaster uh, right here. Just, uh, just an incredible uh, young man. Going to graduate in December, and uh, he's, he's, he's poised to have another great year, and, and we'll have an opportunity to play some football after Clemson, uh, without a doubt, if the good Lord keeps him healthy. But uh, he'll be a graduate. And uh, I always tell people that you know these are student athletes, and the, the student part is the financial security for the rest of your life. The athlete part is just those, those extra skills that kind of help you uh, compete a little bit better and separate yourself from the pack, if you will. So uh, Tavian is a great representative of that. And then also uh, a special guest and, and really cool for me uh, uh, is uh, my oldest son and uh, will be a junior on our team and, and is a receiver and our starting holder and um, uh, made a 4.0 this spring. Uh, he's... Uh, yep. <laughs> Definitely took after his mama, uh, but uh, he's, uh, he is uh, uh, South Carolina educated, and uh, he, he's gone to kindergarten, preschool and kindergarten and elementary and middle school and high school, and uh, now he's going in to be a junior at Clemson uh, next year. So really cool for me to have uh, my son, Will Sweeney, uh, here with us today as well. Uh, 
Uh, you know, I'm going to try to be brief, but, but uh, you know, it's very often, very seldom you get an opportunity like this, and I hope I get many, many more, to be quite honest with you. Uh, but, um, you know, again, it's just, it, for me, it's a privilege to be able to stand up here and represent Clemson University, our football team, Dan Radakovich, our board, President Clements. Uh, it, it's just, it's an honor. And I always tell people, you know, it's, uh, we're, we're not the house. I tell my players that all the time, too. We're not the house, all right? Clemson University is the house, but we're kind of the front porch. We're that front yard, and curb appeal matters. If you know anything about real estate, man, if it don't look good on the front porch and the curb appeal, and man, a lot of times they ain't going to stop. And so I do realize the importance of Clemson football to Clemson University. And we take great pride in trying to perform our role and, uh, and, and hopefully uh, build our brand where people want to come to this state and people want to come to check out Clemson. And uh, so it's just an honor to have the opportunity to represent uh, all the great people involved in this wonderful university. What a, what a special year. Uh, that's really kind of an understatement. And uh, y'all have heard me say many times that the fun is in the winning, and I tell that to our players all the time because the fun is in the winning. But to me, the most important thing is how you win. I think that's, that's really the legacy that matters more than anything. Uh, yes, it's fun to win, but I think how you win is what matters. And, uh, you know, this team, yes, on the field, 15 and 0, the first team in the history of college football to, uh, and modern day football to, to do that. And not only did they do it, man, they did it in an unbelievably dominant fashion. They won 13 out of 15 games by 20 plus, 20 plus, uh, including beating Alabama by four touchdowns. That just, I don't, I don't know when that's happened. Y'all gonna get me in trouble. Y'all better sit down. Uh, you know, and this team won their fourth ACC championship game uh, in a row, and and all that's great, all the the winning and, and on the field. But but let me tell you how they did it. How they did it. First of all, we started in the summer, right? I think the Sunday before we kicked it off, we have our solid orange event, and it's, it's the whole athletic department. And uh, they give this thing called the President's Cup uh, away. And were we the first ones to win it back to back? Uh, uh, you know, I, well, we had never won it in football. And we won it. Uh, and then we come back this year and we won it again. And this goes to the, the athletic program. Uh, it's a competition between all the athletic teams uh, at Clemson University. So we kicked our season off by winning the President's Cup. And, uh, and then we come back, and yes, we were 15-0, but we had the most 3.0s that we've had in the history of Clemson football. We had 66 guys make a 3.0 or better. Last year when I was, two years ago when I was here, we also had set the record. We had had 48 guys make a 3.0 or better. Now here I am two years later, and we had 66 guys. In the midst of the best season in college football history, we also had the best we've ever had off the field academically. 66 guys make a 3.0 or better. <clears throat> Thank you. And, uh, and with, that, with that, we had the highest team GPA. And then you get to the bowl season. Uh, there's 80 teams in bowls throughout the country. We had the most graduates of any team of the 80. We won the American Football Coaches Association uh, top academic award, number one in the country uh, for academic achievement. And then uh, Christian Wilkins, and everybody knows Christian Wilkins for who he is on the field, but how about who he is off the field who left Clemson in three and a half years with an undergraduate, a master's degree, and never made below a 3.0 in his entire Clemson career. So as a result of that, 
up in New York at the Hall of Fame in December, they, the, the Hall of Fame recognizes the top student athlete football player, all levels, every level of, of college football. So it's basically the academic Heisman. And Christian Wilkins won the Campbell Trophy. And then just a couple weeks ago, the Bowden Award was given out. And the Bowden Award is basically the character Heisman of college football. And that went to Hunter Renfro. So, yes, it was a special year, and it was amazing. And, yes, we won. Uh, but the legacy of that team is how we won. And the, the standard that they set, the example that they set to all, to all these guys that are still on the team and the guys that are coming back, to me, that's what made it so enjoyable to be a part of because I was surrounded by a group of young people completely committed to excellence in all areas of their life. And, uh, you know, I said in an interview at, with, with uh, ESPN's Tom Rinaldi immediately after the game, I said the following. When you get a group of young people that believe, that are passionate, that love each other, that sacrifice, that are committed to a singleness of purpose, you better look out because great things can happen. And here at this state house, two years ago, I said football unifies. And I still believe that more than ever. I look at the group of young men that represented Clemson and the state of South Carolina in front of a national television audience of nearly 28 million people. And I see a group that could have had every excuse to be divided. They represented 87 different cities and 18 different states. They held different religious beliefs, political beliefs. They came from different families, different neighborhoods, different socioeconomic backgrounds. They lost teammates by transfer and even won by an untimely passing in the middle of our season. We had high profile first round type guys that could have easily been distracted or looking ahead. Instead, this group of young men was a team in every sense of the word. They loved each other, and every day they were committed to the singleness of purpose of making the 2018 Clemson Tigers the best they could possibly be. So yes, football unifies, and yes, football is a game, but it is one that provides us a roadmap of the things that we can all accomplish when we believe, when we love, and when we sacrifice in the pursuit of common goals. Football unifies, and we hope we showed that to the state of South Carolina and to the world on that January night in Northern California. And specifically, I hope we show that to this group in this room. The same things that won big for us will win big for this state and the people in this room. And it's called team. And it's the ingredients of team. It's sacrifice. You gotta be willing to sacrifice for the betterment of the team. Together, everyone accomplishes more. It's common purpose. It's having a common purpose. Our football team had a common purpose. A bunch of individuals coming together for a common purpose. Love, trust, respect, passion, passion. Nothing great happens without some passion and enthusiasm. Passion. You know, to me, to be a great coach, to me, you know, a lot of people choose careers, but I think to be great at something, you should be called to do it. And, you know, I know I was called to coach, and I'm passionate about that. And you should be called, not just elected. You should be called and passionate about the common purpose. And through that common purpose, you 
you find common ground. Our team had a belief in a positive outcome. Even when a guy was running to win the game and Kayvon Wallace punches the ball out the goal line, our team believed in a positive outcome. When we're down to Syracuse and a lot of drama that week and a quarterback is gone and the other guy's out in a quarter and a half and you got your third, fourth team guy has, doesn't have a completion and it's fourth and six. Belief in a positive outcome. And understanding that it's okay to disagree but not to be disagreeable. Our team disagrees all the time. Us coaches disagree all the time. But we're not disagreeable. You know, the, even in the Bible it says, iron sharpens iron. So one man sharpens another. And listen, if you ever seen iron sharpen iron, there's some sparks that fly from time to time. <laughs> That's okay. It's okay. So just like in my team room, being here in this room, there's many different people in this room. There's different races, different religions, different political beliefs, different backgrounds, different communities. But I would just say to you today, we're all on the same team. We're all South Carolinians. You're all on the same team. You're not competing. When, when teams compete against each other, it's hard to be successful. You all are all on the same team. And my team, my team came together because they, ha they love football and they love their school. And because they worked together, they achieved their common goals. Bunch of uncommon people coming together with a common purpose to achieve their common goals. Y'all may have differences just like my team, but I know y'all all love South Carolina and the people of this state. And that common bond should create the singleness of purpose that it takes to work together to make South Carolina the best it can be. And that's what we try to do at Clemson every year. There's nothing in our building that says win the national championship. We want to be the best we can be. And, and when I got the job at Clemson and I went to my first board meeting, and y'all have probably heard me say this before, and somebody said, well, we want to be like Georgia, and we want to be like Florida, and we want to be like this. We want to be great academically. And, and, I, and, I, and I said, I, it, it, I, I couldn't. Y'all may be shocked at this, but I couldn't hold my tongue. <laughs> and I knew that I might get fired on the spot. I, I, I mean, I have a job a day. And I'm like, that is not my vision for Clemson at all. I want for Clemson to be the best version of Clemson. In fact, I want other people to one day say, you know what? I want to be like Clemson. And that's exactly what I would say because I know the common bond of everybody in this room is you love this state and you love the people of this state. And to me, that creates that singleness of purpose to make South Carolina the best it can be. And not only make it the best, the best it can be, make South Carolina the example for other states to want to come here to figure out, man, just how does that state do it? Because they got great people who, yes, have differences, but they find common ground to work together with love and trust and respect and sacrifice and commitment. And it's a beautiful thing because at the end of the day, this is team. You don't always have to like each other. And I tell my players, I don't always like you, but I always love you. Just like raising our children. I always love them. Sometimes we don't like them. And, 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 and I know that that's the case in this room from time to time, but my message to you, to you all today is be a team because together everyone accomplishes more. Ecclesiastes, Ecclesiastes 4 verses 9 through 12 says, two can accomplish more than twice as much as one. Two can accomplish 
more than twice as much as one. For a triple braided cord is not easily broken. I tell our team that all the time. We are stronger together. When you have an offense and a defense and a kicking game that works together, man. But when you got the offense turning the ball over over here and maybe the defense is playing good and boy, it's, and then the kicking game, it's, it's a mess. And you're just kind of running in mud. But when you work together, great things can happen. And we've got, I, I, I tested my, my old civics knowledge, U.S. government, uh, and I believe we still have a judicial branch, an executive branch, and a, and a legislative branch. I believe. <laughs> and that's an offense, a defense, and a kicking game. All right? Sometimes you guys, Pat, y'all go on the offense and you, you make a great thing, and then you got somebody playing defense from you, and then maybe y'all come together and then they decide to punt. Uh, but man, it's a beautiful thing when you can get it all on the same page. And so I would just leave you with that and just know that, that this group right here, you're not just elected, you're called. And uh, so, and never forget that your team and the opportunity that you have to be the example, not be an example, be the example of how a group of people can come together who, yes, have all kind of different backgrounds, but can be a team. And through team, everyone accomplishes more. God bless you. Go Tigers. And thank you for the opportunity today. Two legislators from the Clemson area who wanted to be heard. Coach, if you would take a seat of honor. That's okay. my seat. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see if Mr. Clary is recognized. Thank, thank you very much, Mr. President. Mr. President, Mr. Speaker, distinguished colleagues of this General Assembly, President Clements, our legislatively elected members of the Board of Trustees that I see up in the, in the gallery and, and other members of the Board of Trustees, President Clements. We've got a large group, the Board of Visitors and alumni from, from all over. All I can say today is that it is truly a great day to be a Tiger. And Coach Sweeney and, and the members of the team that are here, uh, welcome to, to the State House for, for Clemson Day 2019. And, and Coach Sweeney, I, I don't know if you have noticed it or not, but I was elected in November of 2014. And we have been to the college football playoffs every year. I'm just saying, you know, we got to keep this thing going. So we're all counting on another appearance by little old Clemson next year. And, and Coach Sweeney, you know, you are truly an extraordinary leader. Your ability to, to motivate and strategize and inspire, uh, it, it's incredible. Everywhere I go, people talk about your leadership abilities, and, and we're truly thankful to have a man like you that's leading this program at this time. And uh, we look forward to, to many more of your addresses here to this joint assembly. You know, two years ago, we celebrated Clemson's second national championship. The big problem with that coach is it had been 35 years since we had celebrated the first one. And, uh, you know, all of us were really excited, really excited. And 
some of my colleagues said that, that I had probably rubbed some feathers the wrong way. <laughs> Our distinguished majority leader, my friend from York, even remarked to the speaker that I sounded like a sore winner. Leave a tender moment alone, sir. And most recently, it was reported to me that my colleague, Senator Alexander, when he was planning for this joint assembly over in the Senate, that one of the senators from over on the coast had questioned him about whether or not I would be able to speak. That he was hoping that I would be not allowed to speak. <laughs> well, first of all, I thank you for the attention that you bring to me as the representative from House District 3 consisting of the great metropolises of Six Mile, Central, and Norris, and little old Clemson. You know, we're right there in western Pickens County on the shores of beautiful Lake Hartwell and Lake Kiowa, right there at the foothills of the Blue Ridge Mountains. And thankfully, the senator from over there on the coast didn't realize that the president of the Senate is my childhood friend, my classmate from Clemson and fellow Clemson graduate. So here I am. <laughs> now in the spirit of smoothing some feathers during this celebration, I would be remiss if I didn't recognize our rivals from the Midlands of South Carolina on their season. Yes, U of SC, as I now understand they like to be branded, <laughs> played mightily against our team, Coach Sweeney. I mean, they scored, scored 35 points on us. Unfortunately for them, we scored 56. <laughs> and we claimed another state championship. But I do want to congratulate USC Representative Rutherford. I don't know if he's here. I see him over there. I want to congratulate you on being runner-up in the belt bowl. <laughs> coming, coming in a strong, strong second to that uh, football powerhouse, the University of Virginia, <laughs> who Coach Frank Howard affectionately referred to as white meat. Where is Representative Hill when you need him? <laughs> but what I would like to really say is that, you know, this being Clemson Day, Coach Sweeney, while we celebrate this football championship, we also want to remind the members of the General Assembly how important their support is to Clemson University. You know, the tiger paw is truly a strong symbol, but, and it's known far and wide, but I want all of us to realize, those of us who are Clemson graduates, that while the tiger paw is important, the most important thing to us is the ring we wear and the diploma that we have. Because being a Clemson graduate sets us apart and allows us to go on to do many, many different things. So while we celebrate another championship, let's always remember that a great university is not merely, me not merely measured by its athletic program. You know, when Thomas Green Clemson bequeathed his property to this state and set up this unique arrangement that we have with Clemson University, he envisioned a high seminary of learning. And that's what goes on at Clemson University. We're producing great educators, engineers, architects, computer scientists, doctors, lawyers, nurses, 
agriculture specialists, research scientists, and countless other disciplines that make a difference in this state, in this region, in this nation, and around the world. So Mr. President, Mr. Speaker, and my esteemed colleagues, thank you for once again allowing me to be part of, of this celebration in the life and history of Clemson University. And we look forward to being back here next year, Coach Sweeney, and uh, let's go Tigers. Senator from Oconee, Senator Alexander is recognized. Thank you, Mr. President, members of this Joint Assembly, um, and certainly to our distinguished guest, uh, and Coach Sweeney, we are delighted to have you back here in this Joint Assembly today. And in typical Senate fashion, I will be brief in my remarks <laughs> today. Uh, but two or three things. I think as the coach, as we listen to him, uh, he talked about academics and the success off the field as well as on the field. If my memory serves me correct, the word for this year, Coach, was joy. Jesus, others, and yourself. That speaks to the cultural and the leadership of this great man that we have as the coach at Clemson University with the eye of the tiger being focused on the success on the field as well as off of the field. From the academic standpoint, and again, uh, Clemson continues to be in the top 25 for the 11th straight year in a row. It's recognized as number 11 in the most innovative universities. It's number nine in the country for best for our veterans, another great, great group of individuals. Coach, going back, it's been 10 years now, just over your 10th anniversary of that day that you was the interim, and then on December 1st, you were appointed, uh, and I believe that was the day of the ACC championship this year. What a great birthday uh, recognition that was for, for uh, that 10th anniversary. But you go back in 2008, Clemson was having some 15,000 applicants for admission on a yearly basis. Fast forward to 2018, 10 years later, over 28,000 applications were accepted for consideration to Clemson University, a 86% increase in those that are seeking. Talking about the Clemson brand and being the front porch, thank you for being that front porch to the house we have there at Clemson. So it just goes to show you that academics and athletics can both be winners. And Clemson is modeling that and we're grateful for your leadership, a great man who happens to be a great football coach. And I'll leave you with this quote from the Guidepost magazine in August of 2018. Everything in life is how we respond to it. If you never lost a game, got to the championship every time, always won, you wouldn't truly appreciate all that goes into it. Coach Dabo Sweeney, head coach of the Clemson Tigers. Coach, we're grateful for how you have responded to the challenges in your life, the good ones and the bad ones. You're an example for all of us here in this General Assembly to the Palmetto State, to a country. God bless you for all that you're doing to make the lives of those that you touch better on and off the field. And it's a privilege as a senator from the Clemson area to stand before you today. Thank you and God bless. One more round of applause for our coach, Dabo Sweeney. Members of the Joint Assembly, please remain standing as the Clemson University Tigers and their distinguished party depart the Joint Assembly.
Good to see you. Yeah. Bless the Bless the So pretty and purple, oh, darling. Oh, thank you, baby. You look good in that arm. How about it? All right, Clemson in the house. Oh, yeah. Yeah. The purpose of this joint assembly having been completed, I hereby declare it adjourned. Members and guests will please rise as the Honorable South Carolina Senate exits his House Chamber. House members, members in the House, we are in the roll call. All members, please record your presence. We are in the roll call.